if you're a cancer patient, it makes sense that you want to breeze through treatment so that you can feel better, have good energy, and avoid any harsh side effects from chemotherapy or radiation. So like 80% of cancer patients, you might choose to take antioxidants like vitamin C or beta carotene to support yourself nutritionally during treatment. But is that a wise thing to do? My name is Dr. Kim Dalzell. I'm founder of Cancer Nutrition IQ. And in today's video, I'm going to answer the question, is it safe to take antioxidants during cancer treatment? And after a review of the research, I'm going to give you solid advice about how to safely get those antioxidants into your body. At Cancer Nutrition IQ, we know that cancer patients want to support themselves. And that's why our personalized nutrition plans tell you what supplements are safe to take and what foods you should eat based on the type of cancer that you have. More about that later. But right now, let's dig into this very controversial subject. The primary concern that oncologists have with antioxidant supplements is that they may protect remaining or newly formed cancer cells, potentially decreasing the effectiveness of chemotherapy or radiation. You see, cancer drugs work by creating free radicals that damage cancer cells. And antioxidant supplements work by calming down those free radicals. So the supplements could end up protecting cancer cells from the treatment. Because chemotherapy is not selective to just cancer cells, a high percentage of healthy cells end up being destroyed too. So you find yourself in this little dilemma. <laughs> you want to protect yourself and your healthy cells with good nutrition, but not at the cost of limiting the effectiveness of your treatment. This realization is so stressful for cancer patients because there's so much conflicting data to consider and everyone seems to say a different thing about what to do. So let's talk about the research to support both per perspectives related to antioxidants and cancer treatment. My goal here is to help you understand more clearly the issue so that you're going to be able to make educated, safe, and confident decisions about how to support yourself nutritionally during treatment, because ultimately it is your body and it is your choice. So let's talk about prevention first. While most clinical trials in humans found no benefit or harm in taking supplements, there were a few studies that gave us cause for concern. For example, the ATBC study on male smokers found that those who took the antioxidant beta carotene had an increased incidence of lung cancer. Two years after the SELECT trial on healthy men who took antioxidant, the researchers found that those who took 400 international units of vitamin E alone actually significantly increased their risk of prostate cancer. So even though these are prevention studies, that's when everyone started asking, hmm, well, what about taking antioxidants for somebody who's diagnosed with cancer? So let's look at those studies. Well, when researchers analyzed 174 studies, this is 93 clinical trials in over 18,000 patients, along with 56 animal studies and 35 cell studies, those researchers found that taking antioxidants during treatment could possibly be beneficial. Patients had less negative side effects, longer survival times, and their treatment did a better job of killing the cancer cells. But other studies found that there was either no significant difference in treatment outcomes. In some situations, antioxidants did reduce the effectiveness of chemotherapy and radiation. So here's an here are two examples actually of conflicting findings. In Shanghai, China, 4,877 women diagnosed and treated for breast cancer who took antioxidants before and after chemotherapy had a 22% reduced risk of recurrence and an 18% reduced risk of death. A more recent investigation on the effects of antioxidants during breast cancer treatment found something else. Patients who took antioxidants like vitamin C, vitamin E, carotenoids, or coenzyme Q10 before and during chemotherapy were 41% more likely to have their breast cancer return and realized an increased risk in death. 
Now, I remember when I was working at a cancer treatment center that recommended high dose antioxidants as part of their treatment plan. And I had to make a tough decision to walk away from my position when I began to see all the conflicting data. Without a straight answer, it's not worth risking anyone's life. So while antioxidants may lead to better tolerance for therapy and improved outcome for patients, there is still a risk that these same antioxidant supplements are going to interfere with chemotherapy and radiation, making your treatment less effective and leading to worse rather than better patient outcomes. No wonder doctors are suggesting that to be safe, it's important not to take these high dose antioxidants. Well, why are the results so mixed? Well, researchers are just now piecing things together and they suggest that maybe the difference in outcome of all of these studies is because the antioxidants used were purified higher dose chemicals, extracted individual nutrients instead of being consumed as food, which contains a mixture of antioxidants, vitamins and minerals. And that, that makes sense to me because after all, nature provides balanced nutrition and the body knows what to do with natural food. While the investigation of antioxidant use continues, cancer experts do agree on one thing. It is safer and more effective for cancer patients to get antioxidants from food. Now, the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine states, nutrition therapy should emphasize a plant-based diet. Plants provide a significant survival advantage for women who have been diagnosed with breast cancer. The Moffitt Cancer Center states, fruits and vegetables are rich in vitamins and minerals, antioxidants, and other nutrients that aid in healing, fighting infection, and helping to reduce the risk for cancer recurrence. From Memorial Sloan Kettering, during treatment, try to eat at least two and a half cups each of fruits and vegetables daily. The American Cancer Society provides these guidelines for eating well during treatment. Try to eat more fruits and vegetables every day, including citrus and dark green and deep yellow vegetables. Plant-based foods have many natural health promoting substances. Seems pretty clear to me. Antioxidants from foods are recommended all around. There's just one problem though. Um, if you're a cancer patient, hey, between poor gut malabsorption and mouth sores, nausea, vomiting, a decreased appetite, along with many other factors, cancer patients typically are just not able to eat very many fruits and vegetables. One study found that the perceived stress from cancer actually hindered fruit and vegetable intake, not only at the time of diagnosis, but through the first year after diagnosis. Other researchers found that 9% of patients reported experiencing one to three side effects. 10% reported experiencing four to five side effects. And a whopping 67% of patients reported experiencing six or more side effects. And this was similar across all cancer types. Probably the most telling recommendation that dietitians offer to their cancer patient is this. The important thing for you to do is eat. <laughs> and the recommendation to eat five or more servings of fruits and vegetables might underestimate the needs of cancer patients. For example, when Researchers analyzed the blood of children with leukemia. They found antioxidant levels dropped during the first six months of treatment. And the children who had higher levels in their blood of a variety of antioxidants, they had less delay of treatment, fewer infections, and delayed toxicity. The researchers concluded an intake of dietary antioxidants could help cancer patients through treatment. Another study revealed that in head and neck cancer and ovarian cancer patients prior to diagnosis, so they had cancer in their body, it just hadn't been detected yet. Those with higher produce intakes actually had lower death rates. So as I tell my patients, 
I see chemotherapy and radiation as a tsunami and nutrition is the palm tree you get to hold on to during the storm. You just need to make sure that whatever you're using for support is safe. So if you shouldn't take antioxidant supplements and you don't eat enough plants, is there a solution? Yes, at Cancer Nutrition IQ, our dietitians have discovered high quality, effective plant powders that have been studied in humans and they are 100% food. They are not high dose individual antioxidants like other dietary supplements. And while the plant powders are put into capsules or chewables so they can be conveniently consumed, dietitians know they're 100% whole food because the product shows a food label, not a supplement facts a supplement facts panel label on the package. So you're going to see supplement facts panels on vitamin supplements, on antioxidant supplements, but not on food packages. You're going to see a food label. Indeed, the plant powders are derived from the whole plant, peels, flesh, pits, and all. So it's easy to get confused when you see the capsule and mistake whole food powders as high dose antioxidants, but they are 100% food. They just happen to be packaged in a different way. So these plant powders have also been NSF independently tested. So what that means is that there are no pesticides, herbicides, or other contaminants that cancer patients just do not need. So head over to cancernutritioniq.com and look under shop recommended products to learn about the most scientifically researched brand of plant powders that we recommend during treatment. Well, before and after treatment as well. And while you're on our site, it takes less than three minutes to order a personalized plan. It's just $14.95. That's a one-time fee. You're going to answer some questions about your health goals, and then you will gain immediate access to a full personalized nutrition plan specifically designed for cancer patients going through treatment. There's going to be some really cool bonuses. You're going to learn about dietary supplements, safety, not safe, and then sit back and feel confident in your nutrition choices. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to click the red subscribe button below this video and follow us now so that you can be notified when we post more cancer fighting, health promoting nutrition tips. That's all for now.